What's up? What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel, Sports, Life, and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel, and I'm here for the news. And here recently, yesterday, there was another mass shooting. Now, there have been several young men who have been involved in mass shootings over the last year. And over the last 20 years, there's been so many mass shootings that the average person doesn't even really pay attention to this shit no more like that. It doesn't even stay in the national media spotlight for that long anymore. But this new person, Elizabeth Hale, who was all hell to for this person, <laughs> it was all hell to Satan. And I'm going to prove that in this video and that some of these people are what you would call, quote unquote, Manchurian candidates. Am I a legend that there some of these people are under MK Ultra Mind Control? 100%. But that is alleged. But if you go through these videos, whether it be Salvador Ramos, the Texas shooter in Uvalde's, whether it be Robert Cremo, the shooter in Chicago, or this young man, Justin Serpman. I think he was out of Indiana or something like that. And you see in the video, the newest member of the Children of the Corn. And I have all these pictures of all these young mass shooters. Now, there's something that has become a coincidence with all these young men. All of these young men had legally purchased firearms. You might ask, what does that have to do with this video? Well, what is the government and Joe Biden and the Democrats going after? Legal firearms. They want to ban assault rifles. That's why every single one of these shooters allegedly had assault rifles and pistols. They did, I mean, that wasn't alleged. They had assault rifles and pistols. But I'm alleging that it's not a coincidence. As you can see, Robert Cremo off to the left, his eyes, he's completely bugged out of his mind. And all of these young men ended up what? Dying. And I always tell you guys in the movies, they tell the truth in movies and TV shows. And on the news, they tend to lie. I'll cover stuff up. And when they do tell the truth, it's only when it's convenient for them. But we're going to take a small clip of this movie, The Manchurian Candidate. Great movie by Denzel Washington. But it's a clip on here, on here I want you to see. Because this Mary Mary still and stand right where you're supposed to stand. What happens to Ben? The assassin always dies, baby. It's necessary for the national beauty. And she said, the assassin always dies, baby. It's necessary for the national healing. Now, in this movie, she actually put her son, which is this man right here, she put her son under MK Ultra Mind Control when he was in the military. And they staged this whole event to make him look like a war hero so he can become a politician, join like Congress, Senate, and then become the president, vice president, then the president. And if you think these things don't happen, you're out of your goddamn mind. There are more Manchurian candidates. Every day we turn on the news and look at Joe Biden. Allegedly, you're looking at one. That's a robot. You think he's really running the country? Nobody believes that at this point. Even the most layman person who's not even, you know, paying attention to what's really going on can tell you that man's not running the country. That's plainly obvious. But anytime they have people on the MK Ultra Mind Control, the assassin must die. And that's important. And <clears throat> as you can see, I always talk about color schemes. And the Manchurian candidate, red, black, and white. What does Elizabeth Hale have on? A red hat, a white t-shirt, and a black vest. Red, black, and white. It's no coincidence, you guys. Let's take a look at this clip. And we also learned more today about the shooter and what her parents told police. Fox's Madison Scarpino has more. Police speak to the parents of the 28-year-old who shot and killed six people inside the Covenant School, a private elementary school in Nashville. While an exact motive is still under investigation, authorities are getting a clearer picture of the main suspect. She was under care, doctor's care, for an emotional disorder. 
The suspect's parents telling police they believe their child should not have owned a gun. Now they said the the young transgender. I don't. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful, male, female, whatever. But they said the person had a disorder. Now what disorder? And I also asked this question. What medication was they on? That's extremely important because all of these young men were having psychiatric breakdowns or dealing with things. Who are they doctors? What was the doctors prescribing? What was the side effects of the medicine? And the biggest question, who were they in contact with via social media? Because they play dumb with a lot of these cases. We don't really know why this person is doing what this bullshit you can find out easily what these people and why they're doing it via social media because these young men, young women, live their lives online. In fact, they were under the impression the suspect had sold the one gun they knew of. In reality, when searching the family home, police found multiple weapons, which the suspect kept hidden. We found that she had purchased uh, seven firearms from uh, five local gun stores. They were all... Look, if your child is having all these psychological issues and you know they didn't have a weapon. You're supposed to be checking, looking. When they ain't there, looking in their room. But, taking it on face value, if this, if that person was doing all that, having these psychs, them parents, some of these parents do be scared to death. But, me personally, a lot of times, I feel like the parents know way more than what they leading on to and what the police are telling us. Legally purchased. The shooter, a former student at the Covenant School, was shot and killed by responding officers some 14 minutes after the attack started Monday morning. Body cam footage released Tuesday shows how responding officers encountered the shooter on the second floor of the building. We have no evidence that individuals were specifically targeted. This school, this church building, was a target of the shooter. As police investigate, the community is rallying together. I'm a 101 year old, <laughs> and I, I've done a lot of things, and but this really hurts. And I just, I just hope they all, they're all with God. The president also calling on Congress to do more to pass an assault rifle ban. Well, you see how they frame that? They show Granny crying, laying flowers, and they automatically. <laughs> edit the video to switch over to Joe Biden and they start talking about assault rifle bans instead of less, instead of talking about these young men where they're at psychologically and who's the doctors what medications are they being prescribed and what's going on on their goddamn social media all these young men die and this shit just goes away they're going to these shootings are going to keep happening until they get an assault rifle ban i guarantee it not be a partisan issue. It's a common sense issue. We have to act now. The White House hasn't said if the president plans to travel to Nashville or if he will speak to the victim's families. In Nashville, Tennessee, Madison Scarpino, Fox 32 Chicago. Yeah, they're not passing that anytime soon, but they're not, these mass shootings will not stop allegedly <laughs> until they get that passed. Let's take a look at this clip. Additional material written by shooter found inside a car. Are a lot of these young men Luciferians? Are they coming up in homes? What's the parents' religious beliefs? What's the parents' religious background? What are they being taught? Were they assaulted as, as young kids? Were they assaulted? Were they ritualistically abused? We never get really none of these answers, but you do get keys and clues. Let's take a look at this video. We also are learning more. Uh, Metro Nashville Police putting out this most recent tweet with a photo of the shooter's car. I want to put this up here. Okay, Metro Nashville PD posting this photo saying that active shooter Audrey Elizabeth Hale, 28, drove this Honda Fit. Man, as you can see, well, I'll be damned. She has a Thrasher sticker on the back of the window. If you think that sticker and them taking that picture at that angle, because if you look at the car, you can take the picture from four different angles. Really five. You can take it from the top. You can take it from the opposite side of what this is. You can take it from the front, or you can take it front on the right, or the front on the left. But they made sure that Thrasher sticker, if you don't know what Thrasher is, Thrasher is one of the most openly demonic clothing lines on the market. 
a lot of skateboarders were thrasher. You go to LA. I remember going to LA several different times. You see thrasher shit everywhere. You got a hoodie and it has a pentagram with Satan inside of it. The Baphomet. Now, you might say that's a coincidence. Yeah. You might can get one coincidence, but if you have too many things, that's like I, I said it before. That's like if you go in a car, right? You go in your girlfriend's car and you find a sweater that ain't her, that ain't her size. Uh, it could be her cousins or brothers. <laughs> then you find some shoes back there that you know them as man's shoes. Now all of a sudden, you know, you might can try to make an excuse for that. But after a while, you found a ripped condom. Now you know. That something's rotten in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. You know, common sense. You ain't going to get too many coincidences. But as you can see, the Thrasher sticker is on the back window. And that picture was taken and released by the Metro Nashville Police Department on purpose. From that angle, they took pictures of that car at every angle. But they made sure they released the one with the Thrasher picture, picture in it. From Audrey Elizabeth, all hail to Satan. Hail, <laughs> Elizabeth brought hail to the Covenant Church. Some people might say you're stretching it. I might say you need to open your eyes and pay attention to what's going on around you. The Covenant Church school campus this morning in part. MNPD detectives there uh, sharing this photo. Let's uh, yeah, take that full here. And there, there's a better picture of it. Now this blurry, you can see the thrashers. If you don't know what thrashers is, you can Google it and look it up. It's a clothing line. It has a, uh, the Baphomet, a pentagram with the star, the star with the pentagram around it, and the Baphomet head inside of the star, five-pointed star. And so they're still in the parking lot. Remember, Hale was a former student. <laughs> you see how you say that? Hale. Come on, man. Allegedly, that's what police are saying. Obviously, 28 years old. That would have been some time ago. This is just a grade school. Uh, also, detectives in the tweet saying they searched it and found additional material written by Hale. Now, remember, John Drake, the police chief, said there's manifestos, there's writings. They believe this was a. And look how they wrote it. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Hale entered the covenant. Hale entered. The Covenant. Unbelievable. Targeted attack. And then this tweet here. Hale entered the Covenant building after shooting out the glass of these doors there. We'll take that. But as you can see, but now let's take a look at the weapons that were used in the shooting. Nashville school shooting video release. Let's take a look at the weapons that was used. Okay, so there you can see. First weapon you got right here. This is what you call a carbine. You might say, what is a carbine? A carbine is a rifle style gun that shoot nine millimeter bullets. Nine millimeter bullets usually are shot out of pistols, but a carbine up close, hollow points can do an excessive amount of damage, extreme damage. Because what it does is it makes the bullet move, move and travel even faster out of the rifle platform. So you put some hollow points or, uh, you know, certain kind of bullets in there that's high in grain, and you can do a bunch of damage with that. So that's just a carbine, basically a, 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 a long pistol, basically what it is. Looks to, looks to have some type of uh, sticker decal. And at the top of the sticker, it looked like it said, Hell Fires. Or some shit like that. But whatever it is, it says hell something. And that's what I keep telling y'all. And what color is the pistol? It's black. Written in, it's red and black and white. You got red, black, and white on the pistol. So like I said, there's no coincidence a lot of these things are happening. And a lot of these kids are raised up in these Luciferian homes, Luciferian ideology. And all of a sudden, they, they become transgenders, trans, uh, uh, genders, and... Before you know it, you know, all type of things are happening and we never get the full story, especially when it comes to who their doctors and shit are. On the magazine. And you see they got their little demonic little skull right there. Uh, this is an AR-15 pistol, I mean an AR-15. Uh, look like it got a regular 30 round mag. Um, a grunt, you know, decent little rifle. Not bad looking. 
But you see on the back, it has something else on the back. On the back of the uh, the stock of the rifle, you see some red, white writing, a uh, white sticker, and then it's written something on the back. I don't know if it says Aiden and Allen, and I don't know what they say on the back, but this is obviously a grunt, but it's like a, you know, more of a sharp, sharp barrel rifle, but does a lot of damage, you know. These type of rifles shoot 5.56 five, and 2.23s a lot of the times. And these are the rifles they, they won't ban. The AR-15. They want this shit banned. Period. Point blank. And as you can see, the handgun has some little <laughs> demonic writing on it too. And this is basically a Smith & Wesson m and pistol. Shoot 9mm bullets. And all these weapons up close, man, they, they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. AR-15 can reach out a little bit further, but, you know, up close, man, this shit is deadly. It really is. And there, the handgun as well. Okay, so uh, you're getting a better sense now uh, of the weapon. So now you can see the weapons and look. You have, they say, new video details emerging in Asheville school shooting. And they said it was a manifesto. And at the same time, they're telling us they have no idea why this person would do that. Do I believe that? Absolutely not. Do I think they're lying? 100%. But I made this video right here. The facts of MK Ultra Mind Control. Now, I'm not going to watch the video, but I just want you to read. It's big because it's like a lot of conspiracy theories behind it. And I don't want to deal with conspiracies. I want to... Yeah, I didn't like when I made the video. I don't want to deal with conspiracies. The CIA secret quest for mind control, torture, LSD, and a poisoner in chief. And as you can see, the CIA chemist, uh, Sidney Gobley, head of the agency's secret MK Ultra Mind Control Program, which was charged with developing a mind control drug that could be weaponized against enemies. So yes, they did master this technology and they do know how to use this shit. There's no doubt about it. And it was a congressional hearing on this. You can look it up. You can Google it. You can actually watch it. The congressional hearing on MK Ultra Mind Control. This is not theory. This is not conjecture. This is actual facts. But, you know, I just want to, you know, go over that little video right quick and let you know, hey, man, this is mostly about getting these assault rifles banned, but it's also a Luciferian agenda. You see the color schemes and Luciferians, there's a lot of be, it's, there has to be ritualistic sacrifice. There has to be real bloodshed. You see like the ancient Mayans when they would snatch people's hearts out their chest and drink the blood. Those rituals have never died. Every day when you wake up, you watch rituals on TV unbeknownst to you. That's a fact. Now, they're not as unbeknownst. Some of the stuff we're starting to understand and get an understanding of. But yeah, a lot of these things are ritualistic in nature. And they're basically... Solving two problems at one time. We get to do our ritualistic sacrifice and we get to get the ban on assault rifles. Because once they get the, 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 the assault rifles out of people's hands, they can gather more control over the people. Period. Point blank, you guys. But I did want to go over that one clip. Um, I might go back over this again if there's you know more information that comes out about this. But Audrey Elizabeth Hale, <laughs> and you know what she's saying, you know what they're saying all hell to. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. This has been Sports Life and Politics TV. I'm Samuel Koppel. I'm here for the news. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I just took your ass on MK Ultra Mind Control Ride. Peace.